Hey, Facebook friends, I'm Jordan Williams here in the newsroom with your Channel 5 News in 90 for Tuesday, June 21st. Right now, Valley firefighters are on the front lines of this fast moving wildfire west of Falfurias. It's been burning since Saturday. Firefighters from McAllen, Farr, Palmview and Edinburgh are helping with a 40,000 acre fire. Other major wildfires also burning across Texas today. This one in Grimes County in the Navasota area forced about 2,000 people to evacuate this morning. The man accused of killing a Brownsville Museum director in 2009 will spend at least the next 30 years in prison. Ernesto Ivan Martinez pled no contest Monday and avoided the death penalty. This farm man is demanding answers. He says it took police too long to get to his home during an emergency. Jose Garza tells Channel 5 News someone threw two large rocks through two of his windows. He called police and says it took them about 28 minutes to arrive. The police chief says it about, took about 13 minutes. He promises to look into the matter. The head of the ATF could step down as early as today. Kenneth Melson was at the center of the controversy over the Fast and Furious program. That operation used straw buyers to purchase guns. Some of the weapons ended up in the hands of the Mexican drug cartels. And crews are out right now checking out the damage done by tornadoes in the Midwest. Storm chasers caught this one late yesterday in York County, Nebraska. It damaged several homes. Your first word five forecast calls for partly cloudy skies today with a high of 97. That's a look at your Facebook News and 90. Thanks for logging on.